Hi, in this video, let me show you how you can perform value driver modeling using ValQ in less than five minutes. I'm going to use this sales performance data set that tracks sales budget and forecast for a combination of region, category, and sales rep for 12 months in the year 2019. Now, what I did is I went to my Power BI desktop and I imported the data set using the get data Excel option. And you see the data set here. Now, in order to build a value driver model, I have to first click the ValQ custom visual, and then I'm going to expand it to the full canvas. Now, note that this custom visual is not yet active, and to activate it, I have to assign at least one of the values. So let me go ahead and click on sales forecast. Now, as soon as I do that, the sales forecast gets assigned to the value field, and you see that the custom visual is now active. As you read through the instructions, you will realize that there are several ways to build value driver models. And in this case, we're going to be building a simple dynamic model. So these models are automatically generated based on data that is mapped to the ValQ product. And you can also download a step-by-step -step tutorial for building a simple dynamic model here. In one of the later videos, I'm also going to show you how to build advanced models that can allow you to incorporate more advanced configurations and computations. Now, let me go ahead and close this. Now, I will click on creating a simple dynamic model. Now that you know we have opened up the template for creating a simple dynamic model, I have to go ahead and configure the rest of the fields so that a value driver model gets generated for this data. Now, let me go ahead and click on at least one category. I'll also have to assign the sales budget below sales forecast because we want the forecast to be benchmarked against the budget. Now, finally, let me also go ahead and add the time period. Now, beneath the time period, we don't need the day. So let me go ahead and remove day. Now, as soon as I do this, you will see that a simple dynamic value driver model has been generated on the canvas. So what this shows us is the overall sales forecast for the company broken down into the respective sales forecast for the three regions. Now, the sales forecast has also been compared against the budget because of which you see some alerts or conditional formatting. Now, if I want to break down the sales forecast for this region into the different categories, all I have to do is drag and drop category beneath the region. Now, if I expand one of the regions, it's going to show me the sales forecast for the three categories. Now, I can also go ahead and add a sales rep beneath the category. And when I expand the region, I'm going to see the sales forecast broken down by category. And finally, the sales forecast for each category broken down by the individual sales reps. I can also move the categories here. Let's say move the category about the region and I'm going to see first the sales broken down by category, then by the region and finally by the individual sales reps. Now with this, we have successfully created a simple dynamic model in less than five minutes. And now that the modeling is done, I'm going to exit the edit view and the tree is now successfully generated. Note that simple dynamic models can only support additive scenarios where the value of any parent node is calculated on the basis of the sum of the values of its immediate children. This is because we are only supplying the data and not the computational logic. And simple driver models always assume that the scenarios are additive. For supporting other kinds of calculations, including advanced mathematical formulae, we have to build one of the advanced models, which we will cover in a later video. In the next video, we will see how to build a simple dynamic model using a cross tab data. So what we did so far is that we used columnar data where the time period, sales budget, and sales forecast were in three columns. In a cross tab format, you will have the same data spread across 24 columns, the first 12 columns containing forecast data for the 12 months, and the last 12 columns containing budget data for the 12 months in 2019. And we'll see this in the next video.